Welcome back. This is Andrea with Heal Your Body. This video, we're going to focus on the neck and the pecs. We're going to start out getting a little bit of lotion in our hands. Then we're going to rub it into the top of the shoulders here, the back of the, the neck. And do a gentle, nice little squeeze. And when I'm doing this, I'm taking this part of my, these top part of my fingers here, and I'm gently grabbing onto this muscle and slowly uh, pulling it until I, I cross the other side, cross her, her neck, her uh, spine. I want to be careful not to put pressure on the, the spine part of her neck. What you can do though is, so here's the, the spine right here, is you can take your two fingers and go and put them on the sides of it, sides of the spine, into the, into the groove there, and get into the groove <laughs> to help them relax. And in the last video, we went up to the occipitalis, occipitalis, I'm saying it wrong, I know. <laughs> um, but massage up in there. It feels really good to, the, to your friend on the table. You want to gently squeeze the traps so we can Squeeze, hold, pull. Can even gently press down on the top of the trapezius. And I'm feeling the muscle with my thumb. I'm stopping at this point where it attaches and holding it. Help it release some tension. At the top of the deltoids here. Go on top of the shoulders, kind of press down a little bit on the bone, and just gently glide down. In the front of the arm. <clears throat> so we're doing this to help relax these muscles so when we get into the pecs, we'll help them release more. Everything, all the muscles are connected. And if you're having upper back pain, chances are it has to do with the pec muscles here, which we'll get into soon after the neck. So next for the neck, we're going to turn our friend's head to the side. And we're just going to stroke down. And here, I'm going to go gently, but there's a sternocleidomastoid. There's the top of the clavicle. You can feel the bone there. You want to be gentle here. You don't want to dig your finger in. You don't want to choke him. But if you just gently move along that clavicle, the top part of the bone there, help relieve some of the muscles. This also can be tense for some people, so... Ask your friend if the pressure's okay. Is it okay? Okay. If you want, you could do myofascial 
release by not using a lot of lotion. It won't give you as much glide and you'll have to go a lot slower. But that also can work too. You can also use your knuckles here. Your hand like this. And go this way to the back. And if you feel a little knot, you can pause a little bit, maybe do a little circle one way and the other. Now I'll do the same with the other side. I also encourage you to, you know, ask your client or, or client or friend on the table what feels good while you're doing it. That way you can keep doing that one specific um, technique. And also you can tell when the muscles are starting to relax. At one point when you do a massage for so long, you it's just intuitive. You just in, you can feel it. And so, you know, trust Trust that when you're giving a massage, you know, if you don't think it should be that hard, don't do it that hard. And if you think you should change it up to a different technique, different hand motion, definitely do so. When you see see how her neck here is um, getting red, we're not, not there's not too much lotion being used here, but also that's the blood coming to the surface. So the blood's getting circulated, so that's a good thing. Get a little bit more lotion. Move on to the pecs. I like to take lotion and put it at the tip of my my hands here. Do circles. Go along the bottom of the clavicle, down a little bit to the sternum. If your client's comfortable with it, you can massage down the middle right here. That can feel really good as well. And you wanna be gentle here. This can be pretty tense for some people because our arms are always forward on, com we're on computers, we're driving. And so these muscles get pretty type. Slow it down. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to do some active stretching with Karina. This is going to help release these uh, the pecs some more. So we're going to start at the corner here. Then we're going to pause. There's this bone, part of the bone here. And we're just going to be gentle, a little bit of pressure. And then we're going to have Karina lift her arm up towards the sky. Towards me. <clears throat> And as she's doing that, you just want to gently massage down. Be really gentle here. Don't put, have to put a lot of pressure. And then come up to here again and pause and have Karina bring her arm to the side. As you're doing that massage. And gently massage this part of the arm. Do a little, put some compression, a little bit of rolling. And then you can pause here and have Karina. We'll have Karina bring her arm back down to her side and as she's doing it, we'll go up and then down. So you can do that on the other side. I'm gonna get a little more lotion. <clears throat> you also can place one hand here and at the same time, place the other hand here, and you go down like this. I don't know if you can see that very well, but <clears throat> that's also a nice kind of ending technique for the pecs. So I'm gonna go back up to the neck. Put a little bit more lotion in your hand, and then we're gonna go underneath top of her chest here and ask your friend to take a nice deep breath and then pull back on the muscles and we're gonna go all the way up to the bottom of the neck here hold and then we're gonna go up with her fingers so it brings her her neck back. And then we're putting our thumbs underneath her neck and we're gonna lift her her head up. So with this, I'm gonna ask your friend to take a nice deep breath and then relax her shoulders to the table. There you go. And I like to just do a little bit circular motion on the back the side of the neck with my palms. Just do some of the same strokes over again. I'm just going down and then back up with my thumb and I can feel the muscle here. And rub at this point, this point. If you massage here, help release some more tension. You want to be careful not to put too much pressure up in here. There's a juggler's up in here, and there's also um, the vein. You don't want to stop blood. <laughs> that would not be a good thing.
I don't know if you can see her, but her elevator. You, um, put your finger underneath the, the muscle you can kind of push on a little bit. Some circular motions. So I'm taking the bottom of my palm and I'm putting it right here in this groove. All right. Yeah, coming to the conclusion of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to learn more about me, you can find me on Facebook, Heal Your Body. Or you can look at the link below. Thank you very much and stay tuned for future videos. Much love.